Hi everyone. Hope you're doing good and having a great week. To all my returning subscribers, thank you for your support. And to all our viewers and those recently subscribed, thank you and welcome to this channel. As you all saw at the introduction of this video, I was back at Bullion Star of Singapore again. The spot prices for gold and silver has been on a dip at this last week, with the price of gold for one ounce hovering around 2,500 Singapore dollars, and for silver at around 27 Singapore dollars. This was a fall from the previous high recorded in March of this year, with gold at 2,800 Singapore dollars and silver of around 36 Singapore dollars. With that in mind, I went ahead and picked up another 4 ounces of silver. Uh, these 4 Berline rounds are in addition to the 2 rounds that I purchased uh, last week. Unlike the previous purchase, I only paid around uh, 33 Singapore dollars for these uh, rounds here. Uh, if you've watched my last video, uh, for those 2 rounds, I paid above uh, 36 Singapore dollars for them. I think this was a great score uh, because not only did I purchase uh, these 4 ounces of silver at a lower price, but these Malayan rounds are also the harder to find RMC painted rounds. For this video, I'm going to get uh, all these rounds here uh, placed into capsules and add them to this tube of Malayan rounds. And I'm going to show you how many rounds that I have in this tube. But before we get into this, uh, please leave me a like if you enjoy this sort of content and don't forget to share and subscribe. So, let's get into it. Here are my four uh, recently purchased uh, RMC vintage Malayan rounds in the capsule. And these four will join the other seven uh, Malayan rounds that I have in the tube, uh, giving me a total of 11 ounces of silver. Now of the seven that were in the tube, uh, two of them are the RMC minted Malayan rounds. So as you can see from the main map. Giving me a total of six RMC Malayan rounds. The other five are the ones that emitted at Sichuan Tianzi. So here's uh, all the Malayan rounds that I have in my stack. Now I believe that I would have a full tube of 20 already, but I gave uh, quite a few away to subscribers of this channel. And my goal is currently to complete uh, this whole tube of Malayan rounds, giving me uh, 20 ounces. Now some have asked why I invested my money into the Malayan rounds instead of the silver coins. Uh, currently the cheapest uh, silver bullion coins at Bullion Star are the Australian kangaroos, and they are selling around $34. Uh, if you can recall, I purchased uh, these rounds uh, currently at around uh, 33 Singapore dollars. Uh, the buyback price for the Australian kangaroos for Bullion Star is uh, currently around uh, $27, while the buyback for the Malayan rounds is at $28. So it's actually uh, more, uh, more viable to invest in these Bullion rounds if I intend to sell them back to Bullion Star. Before I end this video, I'm sure some of you would like to see uh, what I have in the tubes in this monster box here. For the first tube, I have 10 coins from the Queen's Bees Falcon series. Uh, these are 2 ounce coins. And right on top, I have 6 other coins from Barbados and Samoa, uh, giving me a total of 26 ounces. Here in the next tube, I have another 10 coins from the Queen's Bees series. Uh, these are the black bull. Again, uh, these are 2 ounce coins. And right on top, I have 6 ounces of coins from the Isle of Man and Fiji. Uh, this tube also has 26 ounces. The third tube also has coins from the Queen's Bee series. Uh, these are the highly desirable uh, unicorn. Uh, there are 10 of them uh, right inside here. 
plus another 6 ounces of uh, silver from various countries. Again, uh, this tube here has uh, 26 ounces. The fourth tube contains my privateer rounds. I currently have 7 of them. Uh, each of these rounds are 2 ounces of silver, so there are 14 ounces of silver in this tube. For this tube over here, uh, we have various coins from the Perth Mint, as well as 3 coins from the Royal Canadian Mint. Now the 3 coins here are quite unique, because uh, these coins, uh, each of these coins contains uh, one and a half ounces of silver. Uh, these are the only 3 uh, Canadian coins that I have, which are one and a half ounces. Uh, mixed in with all these coins from the Perkin, uh, this tube here will have uh, approximately uh, 15 ounces of silver. The final tube here will have uh, the various coins from the Perth Mint, Luna and Dragon series. Uh, there are a total of 20 coins here, so uh, this tube contains uh, 20 ounces. So in total, uh, this monster box here contains approximately 140 ounces of silver. Alright, uh, with that, I guess that's going to do it for this video. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed taking a look at my silver stack. Uh, stay tuned to the end to see some video footage of the gold coins that you can find at Bullion Star. If you do have any questions or comments, uh, please leave them below. Otherwise, uh, don't forget to leave me a like if you have enjoyed this content. And be sure to hit that share and subscribe buttons down here if you have not done so. As always, uh, from all my friends here, y'all please take care. Be safe and have a nice day.